Hello, I'm Paul Moffat. I'm Jan Moffat. And this is Clockworks, a gifted podcast. What? Okay, well, just for today, we are doing a mini-sode about the new series, Gifted. This will be tiny, short episode. Not a full recap of the whole show, just a bit of our reactions to it. So Gifted is a new show about the X-Men airing on Fox on Monday nights. So it's we watched the first episode last week. And after basically, I didn't really had heard I had heard vague things about it before, but I hadn't even realized it had aired until someone tweeted us about it. Yeah, I'd been aware of it. It had been on my radar, yeah. but uh, I hadn't actually. I mean, I'd kind of decided I probably would watch it, but yeah, unlike Legion, for whatever reason, I wasn't chomping at the bit to watch it the way I was for Legion. Jan. What do you think are the chances that we're going to keep watching this show? Pretty high. What do you think are the chances that we're going to do an in-depth episode-by-episode analysis of this show? Uh, probably definitely not. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a good show, but I'm not. But it isn't grabbing me the same way Legion. I mean, let's get into our reaction to it. Okay. So, um, basically, watching this, I was like, this is your standard superhero show. This is a lot more like your Flash, like your... Like your Supergirl, it's just a standard superhero show, um, which I like a lot. I like those kind of shows, and I'm definitely going to keep watching this and see where it goes. It's a lot more, I mean, it seems like the X-Men are, aren't are around in it. There's a reference to, like, we don't even know if they're around, but it's kind of a po- almost post-apocalyptic yet modern time. It's kind People, of inter-apocalyptic, right? Yeah, we had exactly. a conversation, so we had a brief conversation on Twitter with at whatever we dream about the timeline and where this fits in the timeline of excellent X-Men movies. I think we said then, and I'll say again, it is unclear so far. It seems to me like it's set somewhere before the apocalypse of Days of Future Past. Yeah, it seems like that. I shouldn't say apocalypse when I'm talking about (laughs) X-Men. Yes. It's set somewhere before the dystopia of Days of Future Past, but... uh, It's hard to say. Yeah. I kind of suspect it's set in its own timeline, personally. So what what did you like about this show? Like you, I have a real affection for a straightforward superhero show. I like that there is a, even though they're not the group X-Men, it's X-Men World. I like that there's an X-Men show on TV where they're, it's, doing the classic X-Men things mm-hmm. in a way that Legion isn't even trying to. No, definitely not. That, like, they are the heroes who protect a world that fears and hates them. Mm-hmm. And they're, I think it is timely, very timely, to have another show that's really x men in the way that, like, they are, the world hates them because of how they were born. Yep. And uh, they can't do anything about that. So are they going to run? Are they going to help? Are they going to hurt? And that's... I think, I think it's, I like that show. I like that yeah. idea. There's whole premise of the X-Men has a lot of traction. Yeah, absolutely. Still. And I like that there's another show about it. Yeah. I like, uh, so far I like the characters. I like the, um, oh, sorry, I can't remember any of their names, but I like the people that they first encounter. The, they're, they're already set up as the X-Men. The family, I think, can grow on me. I like Amy Aker and Stephen Moyer already. Uh, but the kids need a little bit more. I like the daughter better than the son, which yeah. is too bad because the son happens to be, as we were saying right before we came on mic, the actor is from where we're from. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so uh, I don't know that I'm complaining about the actor necessarily. Um, I just don't. I feel like there's compelling. there's room in a yeah. show for child actors to improve, and I think I hope that that happens here. I think uh, it's fun, and it's it's definitely more a standard show. And I think that judging by some reactions that I saw on Twitter, people who watched Legion and were like, "I don't even know what's going on here," are going to really like this show because they're going to get their X Men fix in a more traditional way. Mm-hmm. And I feel like people who really like Legion might go, "Meh, I don't like this." Or they might find that they get, you know, both of their superhero-ness fed. I think uh, 
any connection between Legion and this show would be a mistake. I would not I want any characters crossing between the two of them. I think that would be They're a disaster. Very different worlds. Very, very different worlds. I mean, and yeah, as as I think we're coming back around to again, uh, I like the gifted so far. It's definitely earned a second episode from me. Mm-hmm. It's not remotely as uh, creatively ambitious as Legion. Yes, exactly. Um, so it may pull off what it's trying to do just as well as Legion pulls off what it's trying to do, but what The Gifted is trying to do is much more by-the-numbers superhero show. You know what it really reminds me of? It really reminds me of Heroes. Yeah. It's that Heroes couldn't be called an X-Men show because it was not designed to be that, but this is Heroes without with the actual branding of... Marvel and Sony. So let's hope it doesn't go off the rails as as Heroes did. Yes, it's true. I hope that it. I hope that it continues. I hope that it's good. I'm gonna. I, we're gonna keep watching it. Maybe we'll say something about it in the future. But I'm sure uh, many of these characters are uh, pre-existing comics characters. Some Polaris of them are. certainly Polaris. is. Yeah. The girl who makes portals. I don't know her from the comics, but I like her powers. I like the way that yep. they uh, depict them. The effect of her portal powers. Yeah. And I like. Frankly, I always like, uh, you know, contact lenses that give unnatural eye colors. <laughs> like, that's a s- simple effect, but mm-hmm. I always think it looks cool. Yep. So, I, I think that we just basically, like, keep watching Gifted. We'll tweet about it a little bit, and uh, it's no Legion, but it's good. We might... This is very not a promise. There might be another mini-sode about it in the future. Yep. Definitely not for every episode. But every once in a while, we might put out a short five or ten minute mini-sode about The Gifted. Mm-hmm. Who knows? It's X-Men, and we apparently like the X-Men. Apparently, we are the X-Men experts on the internet. All right. Thanks for listening. I've been Jan Moffat. I've been Paul Moffat. Goodbye.